Stampers, Jackie Ball Heist from Clompin' Stampers, and I am back today with another Stampin' Made Simple Quick Tips video. Recently, I kind of did a survey and posted on my Facebook page asking, you know, what are the things you struggle with in your stamping? And that is still an open call. Um, please leave me a comment to this video or email me or contact me with anything that you really struggle with because that's what helps me know what to do in these Quick Tips video. So one of the quick tips that, or one of the things that people at, or shared last time was they struggled with making, or they wanted to know how to make a bow where the tails wrap around the card, because I've showed that several times. So that's what I'm gonna show you today in my quick tips video. So let's just flip the camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's the card I have today, and I'm not gonna make all the card or share all the details, but I will have a link in the description to the video that will take you to the blog post that has pictures of the card, lists everything I use, some simple instructions, and all the cutting dimensions and so forth for my card. There's a peek at the inside. But this is what someone commented about wanting to learn how to do. It's just a bow with the tails wrapped around. They wanted to know how to do that. It's very simple. Um, actually, here I have one already. Here's just my roll of ribbon. And all I do is I tie a bow in it, and it, you have to kind of play around. And let's snip this one off here. So we'll set that one aside. But you just want to take your ribbon, leave enough tail, um, and make sure you can see this here, and go ahead and tie a bow right in your... Ah, this is super slippery ribbon, so it's kind of difficult to do. That's not difficult, it's just you have to hang on to the slippery. So I just tied a bow and then I play around adjusting it. Like you might need to turn your bow to go one way or the other, um, make those, those ends, those loops, the size you want them, and then just keep tightening it up and pull. And we just kind of keep playing around until you like how that bow looks. Okay, and twist it and play with it. And then here are your ends. So now all I have to do is snip that one off and I have this one ready to wrap around my cardstock. And all I do is I wrap it around the layer like I did here and then I use a little piece of scotch tape on the back of it to hold it and it's that simple. So like I said, it's all about Stampin' Made Simple and how can I share some quick tips with you. So I hope that helps you to see how to make a bow and just wrap those ends around the back and scotch tape them for a little bit different look than having you know the tails of the bow hang down. So once again, if you have anything you struggle with, make sure to let me know so that I can you know maybe do a quick tips video on it for you. So if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or you're looking for one, I would be honored to be that person. Your support and you placing orders from me is what allows me to continue to do these videos for you. Um, let me know if you need a catalog or if I can help you in any way. I would, I would love to do that. Like I said, my passion is teaching quick and easy stamping and I hope that I can share that with you so that you too can make quick and easy cards and bless friends and family and people by sending them a handmade card in the mail. So have a stamp happy day.